Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of PlayStation 2 gaming on your PC. That's right, we'll be exploring how to install and play PS2 games using the powerful PCSX2 emulator. So, if you're ready to experience some nostalgic gaming moments or explore classic titles for the first time, stick around as we walk you through the process step by step. As you can see, I'm currently playing God of War 2 on my computer. Pretty shocking, huh? Well, with PCSX2, running PS2 games on your PC is not only possible, but also incredibly easy. So without further ado, let's dive right into the installation process. Step 1. First things first, before we can embark on our gaming adventure, we need two essential components, the PCSX2 emulator and a PS2 BIOS. Let's head over to the official PCSX2 website and download the emulator. Now here's a pro tip. Opt for the nightly version. Why, you ask? Well, the nightly version is optimized for most games, ensuring smoother performance and higher FPS. So go ahead and download the nightly version for the best experience. Next up, we need to acquire the PS2 BIOS files. Now, I won't delve into the details of BIOS here, but trust me, you'll need them to get your games up and running smoothly. Once we have both the PCSX2 emulator and the PS2 BIOS files downloaded, it's time to extract them. Let's start by extracting the emulator followed by the BIOS files. Now that we have both the PCSX2 emulator and the PS2 BIOS files ready, let's dive into the setup process. Open the emulator folder and launch the PCSX2 emulator. As soon as you launch the application for the first time, you'll be greeted with a setup window. At this stage, simply press or click on Next to proceed. Next, you'll come across the BIOS directory section. Here, click on Browse and navigate to the folder where you've stored your PS2 BIOS files. For instance, if your BIOS files are on the desktop like mine, locate the folder And press select folder. Once you've selected the BIOS folder, you'll notice it appear in the BIOS directory section. All that's left to do is click next to move forward. Now we need to set up the folder where your PS2 game files or ROMs are located. Click on the add button to proceed. Navigate to the folder containing your PS2 game files, such as the ROM folder in my case. After selecting the folder, click on Select Folder. A prompt may appear asking for confirmation. Simply click Yes to proceed. Then, press Next to move to the next stage. At this point, you'll encounter the controller setup page. For the purpose of this tutorial, 
We'll leave the settings as they are and click Next, located at the bottom left corner. Finally, press Finish to complete this stage. With the installation process complete, let's make some final adjustments for an optimal gaming experience. Press on the Settings button and select Graphics. Under the Renderer section, choose between Direct3D11 and Vulkan. For this tutorial, I'll select Direct3D11. Beside the Adapter option, select your graphics card for smooth performance. Now, head over to the display section and set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 for widescreen gaming. Moving on to the rendering section, Adjust the internal resolution to 2 times native 720p or 3 times native 1080p, depending on your PC's capabilities. Feel free to leave all other settings as default. Finally, click on the Close button located at the bottom left corner to apply the changes. And there you have it. You're now ready to enjoy lag-free PS2 gaming on your PC. Thanks for watching. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. Happy gaming. Athena, you will suffer for this. Don't let me let you suffer. suffer. He's killed them all! He still has some of the powers of a guard!